before we drop tens of thousands of dollars on a handbag we want to get as much information as we can so that we can make better informed decisions today i want to share with you my experience in buying my very first birkin bag through an instagram seller this was my very first hermes bag as well as my very first pre-loved bag so I'll show you the buying process and also how I got the bag authenticated as well as talk about my thought process when I was deciding which reseller to purchase the bag from. So without further ado, let's get started. So the thing that set everything in motion was the video by Amelia on her channel Amelia Rose's Closet where she showed her beautiful Birkin 25 in the rose pooper. I fell in love with that color immediately. I decided that I wanted a Birkin in this color, but in the size 30. So I started looking at several pre-loved websites such as Fashion File, Vestia Collective, and also eBay. But part of me tells me that these marketplaces consist mainly of sellers from all over the world, so it may be hard to authenticate the sellers themselves, much less the products. The prices weren't necessarily better than the Instagram sellers either. So I thought it may be better to go to an Instagram seller who is more specialized in dealing with Birkins and Kellys instead. There are a few Instagram sellers that I had been following for a number of years. I decided to go with Fingerpuff because I recalled that there were several YouTubers who had purchased through her before and they were very happy with the service and the products that they received. Amelia was one of them and earlier this year Lindy also got her back through Fingerpuff. Last year, Lala Shaw got hers, Saki Saki bought it back through Finger Puff in 2020 and way back in 2017, there was SM Lux Loves and our good friend here on YouTube, Cat L. I will put a link to their videos in the description box below. Do follow their channels, they have amazing collections of handbags. Furthermore, Finger Puff has been around for more than 6 or 7 years at least because I was introduced to her IG page around that time. By now, she would have gained quite a lot of experience and know which are the suppliers that are reliable. She's able to do a first level check before agreeing to post the pictures on her IG page. Okay, this is fast turning into a promotional video for her. Not intended to be. Of course, there are plenty of legit sellers out there. I'm only sharing with you my thought process when I was choosing the seller that I wanted to deal with. Just remember to do your due diligence. Now comes the easy part, which is the ordering process. Yes, it's very easy. But it's also very easy to part ways with your hard-earned money if they fall into the wrong hands. So I can't stress enough the importance of doing your research before jumping into it. So first of all, go through her Instagram page and scroll through the posts. If you see something that is of interest to you, take a screenshot of it and then send it to her through WhatsApp. Let her know that you'd like to find out more about the bag and she'll send you pictures from different angles and answer whatever questions you have about it. Here's a fun fact. My first interaction with Fingerpuff was about this bag. So I asked her about it on WhatsApp, she sent me a bunch of photos and then I had some questions, we were going back and forth and having this conversation and all of a sudden another customer dropped her deposit and I lost it. <laughs> well that turned out to be a blessing in disguise because a couple of weeks later I saw Amelia Rose's post on YouTube and the rest is history. So once you have decided that you want the bag, you would ask her on WhatsApp on the amount required for deposit and how to send the payment over. She will also advise you on when you have to make the payment for the balance and she will proceed to place the order for you and get it shipped right to your doorstep. As I mentioned earlier, she has suppliers so the items are not necessarily in her possession and she has suppliers from all over the world including the US and Japan. So the delivery time may differ. Mine took about two weeks, actually less than two weeks to arrive and apparently Mine was in Japan and I am in Singapore. Before we move on to the next section, please comment in the comments box below if you have purchased any pre-loved handbag before. What bag was it? And where did you buy that beloved handbag of yours? As this was the first time that I was buying a pre-loved Hermes bag, I didn't know very much about authentication services. So I turned to Handbag Holics. She also has an amazing collection. Do follow her on YouTube. And she wrote a whole blog post about authentication services and made a comparison between different service providers as well. I just picked the first one on the list which was Authenticate first. But I need to highlight one point though, which is that Fingerpuff would only accept any kind of dispute relating to its authenticity if 
the authentication was done by Baba Baby. According to Finkelpath, she only trusts this authenticator. So I was thinking I'm going to go with authenticate first, but if really it turns out to be assessed as non-authentic, I will then go to Baba Baby for a second opinion. But to be honest, after having done my research and assessment of Finkelpath, I was pretty certain that the bag would be authentic. But I wanted to get an authentication company to confirm that and give me peace of mind. So first thing is to go into authenticatefirst.com. So here's the home page. It's interesting to note that they also authenticate wallets, jewelry, watches, clothing, accessories, and footwear. If you scroll down to the bottom, you see that you can have optional uh, additional requests for things like a written statement or a notary service and so on. If you click on services at the top, you'll be able to see the price list for their products. The prices differ depending on the brand and also whether it's exotic or non-exotic material. For example, for LV and Chanel, it is $25. For MS, non-exotic leather, it would be $50, but for exotic leather, it is $75. You can also opt for an authenticity card for download and an additional price of $10. You can also request for expedited order in 24 hours for another $20 and other services which you can see from the list. To start your order, click on Start Authentication. On the next page, log in or sign up if you haven't already done so. Then type in the brand that you are sending in for authentication and whether it is exotic or non-exotic. And then the base price of $50 will appear in the case of an Hermes non-exotic handbag. In step 2, you will be asked to upload photos according to the instructions given on this page. And we're almost done. On the next page, which I'm not able to get into because I don't have photos to upload here to proceed, you will be asked to select any add-ons that you want to and then go ahead and submit. About an hour after I submitted my request, they emailed me to ask for more photos. They provided a link to go into the system and they also provided some examples on how to take the pictures. And about one to two hours after that, I received another email from them with the results of the authentication and there was a link for me to go into the system to view it. Although they indicated that the process would take less than 48 hours, mine actually was completed within half a day. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any experience with buying handbags in the pre-love market or if you're new to this and are also looking to buy your very first pre-love handbag, do let us know in the comments box down below so that we can learn from each other. There's never too much information when we're talking about buying a handbag of this kind of value. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. I'll be greatly encouraged. And also remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And click on the notification bell as well so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I do have a bunch of unboxings to do. I just haven't got around to it. I've been so busy. But I hope to churn them out to you in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and take care. I'll see you again very soon. Bye!